All of you are gonna laugh really hard at me because I'm on my way home from this weekend's ski camp in, you guessed it, Nebraska, um, where we were doing a low altitude intensity camp. And you can see the sun kind of shining in the car on the way home. Well, that wasn't really representative of the whole weekend. We had rain. Um, so we were doing these like crazy, massively hard workouts. We looked like badasses, um, hill bounding up you know, hills in the rain and roller ski time trial in the rain. Um, but in any case, I'm on my way home now and I wanted to talk to you about this week of the 8th through um, the, the 8th or the, let's see, the second week of October. Um, let's pull up our schedule and check that out for what's up and coming uh, this week. So looking at our first practical exam, and that's the thing that's both most foremost on our list. Thank you all for getting the questions to me. Um, I will begin setting up the practical tomorrow, and I may actually get a head start on you a little earlier in the day, but I would love it if all of you or any of you could come and help me in the afternoon tomorrow between 1 and about 3.30 or 4. So if you are able to come during that time, I know I got an email from Richard saying that he could come at 2-ish, um, and if and I think Leslie is planning also to come at, at around 1 or 1.15. So that's just great. Anytime that you can stop by in that window to help me make sure that we have everything we need for the practical. I have set aside as much media as I could throughout the labs. I need to inoculate an EMB, a GSA, and a TSA, but that shouldn't um, be too terribly difficult. So we'll get that all done and ready to go so that we can have the practical on the next day. So during the practical, um, the things that you want to think about will have to split up. So one TA will grade the aseptic pipetting, one will grade the um, T-streaking, and one will work on the grading the notebooks. So just talk to me prior to the lab's beginning and we'll decide how we want to split up the three tasks there amongst the three of us for each lab section. And I'm more than happy to help with either one of the three. Um, what, you know, I'm comfortable to help with any one of the three. So if you'd like to just let me know which one you want to do prior to beginning to that practical exam, then we can be organized and ready to go. Do you notice that the midterm lab grades are due in eCompanion um, next week? And so it's very helpful to me if you can get those lab practical exams done pretty quickly. And I, I actually find that they, they take very little time, particularly if you sit down and grade them right away. Because that way those questions are still out and if you need to take a quick look or clarifying look at the question, you can definitely do that. So if you have time, if it's a possibility for you, just staying a little bit afterwards, spending that hour or so right afterwards is great. Um, Richard and Craig, you have open lab this week, and, but not before. We will be doing lab 15 on Thursday, and lab 15 is a big one. So I'm going to bring up the TA guideline for lab 15. I know that um, many of you will not be doing the lecture for this lab, but if you are, this is one you want to begin to study ahead of time. The TA guideline is packed full of information, not only on biochemical testing and how we can use that in order to allow us to identify unknown bacteria, but it's also chocked full of the sort of background that we need to know about the bacterial groups and uh, focusing first on the staphs and streps and then moving into the gram-negative enterobacteriaceae and the pseudomonad ACA. So this is very important background information. Now I would really, really love it if all of you could actually learn, look through this and really begin reviewing and reminding yourselves of all of these organisms as we head into the section that will last from labs 15 all the way through 21 uh, where we will be going through through uh, all of the biochemical testing. At the end of this TA guideline, it gives a rundown on what we'll be doing that day. Please do remember that we will be doing throat cultures. Let's try to get the students through with their throat cultures before they begin inoculating plates with Streptococcus pyogenes, right? Just a good idea, uh, safety-wise. So um, let's do that, and then they can run off to inoculate their SIM tubes, their McConkie auger, their MSA plates, their BAP plates, so that they can begin to get a fill for all of those biochemical 
chemical tests. Encourage your students to begin making note cards or a screensaver or something that helps them to remember all of these crazy biochemical tests. It's never too soon to get started on that sort of study. And I know right after the practical exam, everybody will be a bit tired, but let's get them stoked about upcoming biochemical tests. Okay, I think that's mostly the, the bulk of what I wanted to share today, and I hope that you all had a fantastic weekend.